Live with Kelly. Today, from the new film, New Year's Eve, Jessica Biel. And another delish main dish, courtesy of Ann Burrell, as we continue live's holiday feast week. Plus double duty for Josh Groban, he performs and he co-hosts. All next on Live. December 8th, 2011, back today is Josh Groban. Yeah. It's so nice you, that you do that. You ha you give me like a nice little, like a cheer at the beginning. I don't ever get to come out and say like, you know, I'm a, no. I get to guest host next to Kelly Ripa, which no. is like, you know, the amazing. It, it, it has been said that everyone in the planet will get to guest host with me for 15 minutes. <laughs> Um, no, but I have to tell you the funniest thing this morning. Okay, so this is sort of our family tradition. From Thanksgiving until New Year's, your CD is in our CD player, and we just listen to your Christmas CD over and over again. Because, let's face it, it cannot be said enough, you have the voice of an angel. Oh, uh, thank there. you. There. Okay. So. But, and it is but I have the mind of the devil. And the mind of the devil, yes. Um, the body the devil the and the voice of an angel. <laughs> it's the devil's playground. Uh, <laughs> uh, my mom starts putting on my Christmas CD uh, at uh, Fourth of July. Uh, basically. She, I don't blame her. I don't blame her one little uh, bit. I'm tired of it. But it was so funny. You, so I get out of the car this morning. I'm walking through the garage, and for a moment, I am, I am like transported through time and space, and I think that I've left the CD player playing, and I, and I sort of stop to turn it off, and I realize. You were in here singing. I was just live. doing a little, just a little sound check. It's not, you know. Sound check sounds like, you know, very oftentimes recording artists seldom sound like their CDs. You <laughs> sound CD quality in really? real life. Oh my yes. gosh. Well, yes. you are just as beautiful in person as you are on TV. <laughs> um, it's the same. It's the same. I, um, we gave each other money today to I say decided, nice things. I decided. I decided. <laughs> because we both went. We went a eating last night. Yes, separately. But separately, but, but, but we both had a bad we, food night. We gorged. Uh, yes. Because well, it's all these. It's all this. The holiday feast thing you're doing. Yesterday mm -hmm. we had. Um, we had a great braised short rib on the show, and it's it's odd drinking Guinness and eating, a, a, you know, a short rib at, at nine in the morning. Not if you're a talk show host. No, that apparently not, not. Apparently not. But it got like it got my body wanting meat like the rest of the day. I mm. wanted, I craved it. So I went out for a, a big uh, kind of steak dinner last night, and just I mean, that it, it was it was it was interesting because the table next to us was a group of um, of kind of investment bankers, oh. and they were they were kind of fangirling over me. It was it was ah. very strange because I don't normally get I don't normally get attention anyway. But but these guys were doing that like <laughs> like wow. not not smooth and then when they left the one guy was like nice to meet you have a great rest of your night and then his friend and i was thinking okay well that's pretty cool like working on the getting getting a bigger demographic and then his friend <laughs> his friend comes over to me and he goes i'm so sorry he'll just come up to anybody if anybody's been on tv for five seconds he'll go up to oscar the grouch it doesn't matter he'll go up to i'm like Aww. does yeah, he want a just, picture <laughs> trying to play it cool. They're trying to play, yeah, they're trying to play it cool. They're yeah, what cool. restaurant, where did you go? Uh, we went to a, a steakhouse called Del Frisco's, which is, Oh, uh, Del Frisco's, yeah. Which, yeah. which, which, which put the advertisement for it plays in the in taxi, taxi cabs. cabs. Come to Del Frisco's. And I'm thinking to myself, all right, well, that's where I'm not going to go. Um, <laughs> but, but, but they, it was recommended to me and we went and it was, it was delicious. My children begged me to take them there based on that taxi, we've never gone. Yeah. Um, but based on that taxi TV ad because they make it look like the most desirable place on that, earth. And I've decided, like, if I was ever, God forbid, on death row, I would say, can my final meal be from Del Fresco? Because <laughs> it, they make it look just like 
If you're not eating here, you haven't lived you haven't a day lived. on this planet. It's, it's, the, it's, it's heaven on earth. It is yeah. heaven on earth. It's, it's pretty amazing. So, yes. yeah, now what did you eat? What did well, you eat? okay, so here's what, what we ate. My children's religion teacher came over last night, and she baked a, a tray of cookies that should have taken us through New Year's Day. And we ate the entire tray last night. Mm. <laughs> and if any of you know me, I don't really eat sweets. That's how good these sweets wow. were. I mean, she made... She made she made fudgy cookies that were so fudgy that we had to like we had to peel them off with our fingers and then lick our fingers and she made almond praline cookies uh, she she made homemade fudge it was insane she made these little cookies that was a maraschino cherry dipped in chocolate and then she made it look like a mouse <laughs> have you seen these anywhere well they're delicious and then you called it adorable or cute and you got suspended it's right? and then yeah. i called it yeah. adorable and i was suspended from school that's um my family wouldn't even wait till it's cooked like I just eat the I just eat the dough right out of the bowl. Well, and, uh, no, no, well, th but she brought them over cooked. Otherwise, we oh. would have gone to her house and eaten everything. But that it was like amazing. just such. It was such a nice treat. But th this morning, I woke up feeling very, a starving because I'm not sure why it is. If you eat a ton of food late at night, you're starving. Well, the sugar must, must have gotten your metabolism mm -hmm. just going yeah, crazy. Yeah, going crazy. And then B, um, bloated. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else. Um, yeah. Just like, like, you know, like... <laughs> a little, little, co little cookie baby. Yeah. Just, all right. I've seen supermodels that are pregnant the way I am right now. <laughs> Only I... I'm not pregnant. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> Uh, well, that, what did you do with the rest of your day yesterday? Because I mean, the nice thing, this is this is interesting for me because I don't ever get up this early in the morning, and so after we're done. Oh, you had a whole day of we, being awake. I've got awake. the whole day of being awake. Yes, I know what you did because. <laughs> it's totally new to me. Yeah. I followed you on Twitter, and you did something fantastic. Oh well. Uh, I don't normally get to do this, but yesterday we went straight to the toy store uh, after uh, after being here, and we got to pick out. I got to meet with a couple of Marines and uh, the great organization Toys for Tots. Yeah, and amazing. we basically Frame raided point. the toy store, and I got to relive my nine-year-old uh, kind of uh, dream and, and pick out toys and pick that out all the stuff that I thought would be the coolest, and, and we got just hundreds of, to <laughs> hundreds of toys, and uh, and it was really really fun. And to see as a thirty-year-old man what how the toy technology has changed is really shocking to me. It's not oh, Lincoln yeah. Logs and yeah, you know, yeah. Play-Doh anymore. Well, so. those are still the classics though they I mean, are my kids classics. still play with Lincoln Logs. yeah I really I think that they're great but I have to tell you um, when you said you raided the store with Marines was the store open <laughs> I mean did they contact, break in contact. Or... <laughs> they, I was like they did. really did we, you come in with guns and the whole thing we dropped in from Black Hawk helicopters oh, and uh, came in and uh, yeah terrified everyone um, no, no, it was just these two Marines, and they were following me around, and they're in the uniforms, and they've got the white gloves, and they're so serious. But then I'd, I'd listen behind me, and you could hear the noises of all the toys they're pushing, like they're they're pushing all the little buttons. Yeah. And I'd be and I'd be like t telling the camera, like, "Oh, we're so excited to be here!" And all of a sudden, I just hear like, Hoo -hoo! and they're like, like what, is, "What is that?" And the guy's like, "Sorry, I pushed Elmo. I'm sorry." Was, you know. So they were they were like on a toy touching frenzy, which was. Did they really, pick really... up any of the like Nerf guns or guns? Like, did they fire them with accuracy? Or we 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 had fun. We had fun. Uh, picking up like the toy instruments and stuff and I actually got brought you uh, the, these because the, these are super fun because these this uh, is my fantasy this, <laughs> did you give you, me the broken one I don't know why it has tape that's very J-Lo yes. to have like a white tape yeah. on there that's uh, yeah sure I'll give you I'll give okay. you that one uh, for grip so what do these do what you do is you sing into it and there's a natural reverb that occurs when you oh my God, sing this. into the microphone <laughs> sing into the microphone that's very nice. <laughs> the time of my life and I owe it all. Are you flirting with me, Josh Brown? <laughs> I swear you it's are flirting. <laughs> and I owe it all to Ripper. <laughs> so, you know, I'm you'll... old enough to be your mother's younger friend. Well. <laughs> This song just got creepy. It's weird and sad. It's a 
weird, sad song. Odd. Uh, yeah, this is this, this is. Song's, this song. This still doesn't help my voice. These are the awkward flirtation uh, uh, microphones. Um, yeah. Uh, these so, are adorable, though. How much do these, these go for? Do we know? Uh, these were were on the cheaper side. Che um, I like cheap gifts. They're the I best think they were ones. They're about a buck ninety-nine. Ah. But uh, but but fun that just lasts for, forever. Fun. You can have mine too. You can just. Oh, take, thank you. Take so Mark and I can sing duets <laughs> to each other. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, you know, in in talking about Santa Claus and the holidays and um, and I, by the way, I think it's a really incredible thing you did for Toys for Tots, and it's always so necessary this time of year, it's especially in, in economies like this. Um, the, the food banks are are not where they should be. People need to rem remind themselves if they have the little bit extra to give to those food banks and to yeah. Toys for Tots for those kids that really may or may, may not have a, a, a very nice um, holiday season. But um, in in other holiday news. Now you can Skype with Santa. Did you know that? Awesome. Yes, for children that may be on the fence about, you know, <laughs> where Santa is. Prove it. Where does he live? Prove it, Prove with it to me, mom, and <laughs> yeah. don't have dad call me from the cell phone. You can Skype with Santa. It's um it's uh let's see, 29.95 for a 10-minute session. Huh. <laughs> well, is that's that is that to charity or is that just a I don't know. I <laughs> in, is that in Santa's I pocket? Didn't, is, uh, Santa doesn't get that. I didn't read this article. I, first. But the funny thing is, like, where is Santa? Oh, okay. Santa's on the computer. Santa's so on the computer. To the kids. That's kind of that's probably a great thing for well, the frustrated delighted. mother. They're absolutely delighted. Like they, uh, I'm very I get very frustrated and you know, you go, I'm going to call yeah. Santa if you're not good, and now the kids are like, Yeah. Do it. <laughs> That's all right. Do it now. Call him. And I'm like, I'll do it. I'll do it right. I've got him on speed dial. So do it. That's 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 a little strange to me. But I, I I'm sure if I was that age, I would I would find it. Uh, you know, I, I, it would have been proven to me. I wanted to believe in Santa way longer than I should have. I remember when my parents asked me if I still believe in Santa. I still believe in Santa. Yes, yes. Well, I still believe in Santa too. <laughs> um, <laughs> They're all at school. Sing into your microphone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but that's great. Yeah, Santa Skype, so that's good. Here's other things I believe in, and this is further proof that they really do exist. And I think that the royal family's embracing of the Wookiee population further proves that Wookiees are real. <laughs> and you don't need any time you can get a picture of the Duchess of Cornwall shaking hands with a Wookiee, I think that this world is just <laughs> peace is on the horizon for all of our nations. That's amazing. Isn't that a great you don't picture? Need, you don't need Skype to know that a Wookiee is real. That's, uh, that is a great picture, right? That is a great picture. And somehow the Duchess of Cornwall is much taller than I thought she'd be because the Wookiees the are Wookiees got to be a good giant. eight feet. Yeah. yeah. So she's, she's at least seven and a half feet tall. She's a tall Duchess. She's a big lady. This, uh, this was really, really cool. This was, um, I, I, you ever watch that show Mythbusters? It's, um, yes. It's a really fun show. Um, <laughs> I but read this article. They, uh, really like busted for real because they uh, they shot a cannonball into someone's house and, um, well, and nobody was injured nobody was injured but um, but it, it, it got just a horrible uh, hole in the wall they say they were trying to they were trying to debunk a myth about cannonballs and what happened was the cannonball had taken a very bad bounce it had taken I didn't know they an un and nor did yeah. I it took an unanticipated bounce and went radically off course and through a neighborhood it went through a house through the front door out the wall and finally smashed through a minivan window hasn't the minivan suffered enough <laughs> and that's where it met its final it's resting finally, place it's finally and sat. nobody was injured nobody was hurt thankfully uh, they can keep yeah. they can keep uh, yeah no but um But I, the bounce was surprising to me. I wouldn't have expected the, the, the rubber quality to the, to the cannonball. That's I think that if you fire anything at that, at that sort of... Um, velocity. With that velocity, yeah. yeah, I think it will bounce. Maybe, Maybe I don't we know. Maybe you should do a little myth-busting here on the show and try, will, will it bounce and see, uh, see what will happen. I think it's actually a great idea. Let's start with these crappy microphones. Yeah, and, uh, we yeah. can. You can do it.